we're uh, about 10 days away from the election. Uh, we are on the south side of Westminster Bridge, opposite the Houses of Parliament. We're here today to launch our fracking billboard. I'm here to protest against government policy to frack our country. Catastrophic climate change. We recently launched our Fracademics report that shows that the government's repetition of this McKay-Stone report that relies on uh, data to show that fracking is better for us than burning coal. The figures have been manipulated in terms of the input data and it's a load of dodgy science. If people would really start to understand that governments are criminals, they might start to listen. And from now on, I think we should not call them the Tory party or the Labour party. We should just call the whole lot the criminals. Child birth defects, chemicals in fracking and also the chemicals in the ground that are churned up by the fracking process and brought back to the service have been proved to cause birth defects in children. And she doesn't have one of her arms because she was born without it because um, the poisons that leak from fracking cause birth defects. Toxic legacy, that's uh, all a, a doubling in the amount of toxic waste um, that has to go to landfill in this country as a result of the fracking process. This guy, seven-year-old boy, was killed by hydrogen cyanide gas from coming up from flood water two years ago in his home in Chertsey. His parents are still waiting for a death certificate. Doesn't David Cameron, he lost a child, you know, can't he just, or oh, does his heart not work for anybody else? Now, the Environment Agency at the time was run by Chris Smith. And he is heading up the fracking PR in favour of the government. Chris Smith has now left the Environment Agency and is working privately for a consortium of fracking companies headed up by the Edelman PR group. Uh, called the Task Force on Shale Gas. If we start to call them all criminals, I, I think that people might start to take more notice of the scientists and the NGOs who are telling them the truth of what's going on. Energy insecurity. That's about the fact that by the time fracking comes on board, 15 to 20 years from now, We've already agreed to shut down all the coal-fired power stations by that time. So actually, fracking will be competing with renewable energy. So investments in renewable energy right now are on the brink because people aren't sure whether they should invest in that or they should wait for 20 years to invest in fracking. It's a complete myth that we need to squeeze everything on the planet and extract everything on the planet. We could have different values and a different system, but we're locked into this one and it's being carried out by criminals. They're all criminals, every one of them. All the major parties want fracking. Everything they want to do, austerity, all these things, all they're doing is sucking up wealth, making people poorer, and it all gets siphoned off to the banks. <laughs>